Good morning, THS. It's Friday, September 15th, and I'm Jacob. And I'm Peyton, and you're watching Viking News. Beta Club invitation letters were sent out to juniors and seniors who are not already members and have at least a grade average of 93. If you think you should have received one and did not, contact Ms. Hayes or Ms. Saussman in the library. $30 dues should be turned in by October 4th. 2018 governor school applications and information are now available online. Students can earn college credit while participating in intense learning experiences in 11 different areas. See Ms. Skeens for more information. The deadline is November 1st. The fall blood drive at Tennessee High will be on Thursday, September 28th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. You must be at least 17 years old and weigh at least 110 pounds to donate. You may sign up in the main office. Students will not be allowed to donate during core classes. Students must bring a signed parent slash guardian permission form, a photo ID, and a class release form. Photo retakes for all underclassmen, faculty, staff, and administration will be Friday, September 22nd. Students who purchased a package and who desire a retake may turn in their photo to the photographer on September 22nd for a new package. Students interested in Viking Robotics need to see Ms. Givney for a TSA application. The deadline is today. The Tennessee High Battalion will be hosting a Hurricane Harvey relief effort at all of the major home sports games. They will have donation tables that will be posted at the main entrances of each game. Each table will have donation buckets that you can give charitable donation to for the victims of Hurricane Harvey. Each penny counts. Jostens will be here to meet with seniors on October 2nd during first period for about 30 minutes. It's time to begin the application process for Queen of Hearts. Stop by Ms. Whitaker's office and pick up an application if you are interested in applying. The deadline for the application is October 11th. THS will offer the ASVAB on September 26th at 7.45 a.m. in the auditorium. There is no military commitment required to take the exam. Sign up in the counseling office. Now here's Nate and Bree with your weather forecast. Good morning, Viking News. I'm Nate. I'm here for your weather forecast. Today will be a high of 77 and a low of 58 with partly cloudy skies. Back to the studio for your cafe watch. I might drink it when it's hot. I might drink it when it's cold. With a flavor so bold, you can feel it in your toes. Cold like a spice soda. 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 In sports news, the varsity football team will play at home against Morristown East at 7, and the volleyball team plays in a tournament at Siegel High at 4, 5, and 6. In local news, five teenagers were charged by Kingsport Police after two separate break-ins at two city businesses. Three were juveniles who were charged with burglary and theft of over $100,000 on Monday at Friendship Cars. Investigators said the four vehicles were valued at over $116,000 were stolen by the teens. They were charged with burglary and grand theft over $100,000. In national news, power has been restored in more than 4 million homes in Florida. However, there are still more than 2 million homes throughout the state to be restored. That's all for Viking News. Have a satisfying weekend.